After sharing with you guys a comparison in regards to these two wallets, I have decided to let one of them go. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is May, also known as Mrs. Leva on YouTube and Instagram. And today I wanted to do a comparison video in regards to two very similar but very different wallets. And those are my compact wallets. We do have the Louis Vuitton Rosalie wallet here in the reverse monogram. And we also have the YSL Cassandra wallet. If you recently caught my fails video in regards to this wallet, I was super excited to add the Rosalie in the reverse monogram. I have grown to love the reverse monogram so, so much over the years. So when I saw that they were going to release the Rosalie in the reverse monogram, I was super stoked. But what made it even better was the fact that they were going to release it with a back pocket. I really enjoy having a kind of back pocket on my wallets for easy access. We'll get into that in a minute. However, as I have tried to use this wallet and love it, unfortunately, the same reasons that I shared in that video still remain. So I have decided to part ways with this wallet. If you are interested, I will leave my contact information down below. Go ahead and send me an email. I think I am pricing it very reasonable. I am willing to sell it for $400. It currently retails $455, not including taxes here in the States. And that $400 will also include shipping and insurance. So go ahead and send me an email if you honestly are interested in potentially purchasing. I'll be more than happy to send you videos, photos in regards to the piece. I will accept sell payments as the only form of payment and I'm only willing to ship within the United States. So putting all that aside and getting into what this video is about and that is a comparison in regards to these two wallets. I will be sharing prices, size differences, sort of the similarities and the differences between both in case that you are eyeing to add either one or the other into your collection. And I will also just give you my general thoughts in regards to each piece. Let's go ahead and start with the YSL Cassandra wallet first and you will see me looking down just because I have a few specs written down to make sure I give you the correct information. This one here is in the color dark beige. It currently retails for $545 in the States. The measurements are 5.3 in the bottom, height is 3.7 and then width is 1.2. That is in inches. I'll make sure to put it in centimeters up on the screen. They only offer this wallet in leather options at the moment. It does have a flap opening with a small little button here. You do have four interior credit card slots as well as a big just open compartment in the center for you to put anything else. And in the back you also have a back pocket which is very roomy thanks to the length of the wallet itself. As for hardware this wallet only has the YSL logo in the front in a very shiny gold hardware. Now let's go over the specs of the Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse. I do have a few videos in regards to the Rosalie coin purse since I have also owned it in the Damier Ben print so I'll make sure to link those down below in case you want further information in regards to the wallet. But this one here is obviously in the reverse monogram. As you can see, it currently retails for $455 here in the States. And the measurements are 4.3 in length, 3.1 in height, and then just one inch in width. Now the Rosalie coin purse is available in canvas options as well as some beautiful emprunt options also. And they do come in some stunning colors for those emprunt leather ones. Just like the YSL Cassandra wallet, she does offer a flap opening with a small button there as well. You do have two credit card slots in the interior. You also have a bigger pocket on the back side, which you can put a little bit more credit cards. And she does have a zipper compartment, which you can put folded bills, coins, or anything else that you might think of. Unfortunately, this little zip pocket here it's not big enough to hold credit cards and also just like the YSL Cassandra this one also offers a back pocket so as you can see from the specs of both wallets they're very similar I would say the biggest difference of both is obviously the size the YSL Cassandra is a little bit longer in size as you can tell here and that is why I say that the back pocket is so comfortable just because you do have a little bit more room to be able to stretch it out and put things and it does carry more cards 
than the Rosalie would more comfortable if that makes sense this is something that I mentioned in that Rosalie fail video but the back pocket on this Rosalie compact wallet is very stiff I wouldn't put more than two cards and to be honest that's already pushing it just because when you do fill up this wallet in the interior part, it kind of takes away space that is provided for this back pocket. Especially if you choose to add cards in the most extreme pocket right here. Just keep in mind that the more cards you put here, the harder is going to be for you to place cards in this back pocket. As for the differences of the interiors on these wallets, the only main difference from both is that the Rosalie coin purse does offer a zippered compartment in case you wanted to carry coins. I tend to barely carry cash in my wallet, so I just saw myself adding like a cute little card that I have from my husband in there or like a lucky $2 bill and nothing more. However, I do think that this Rosalie wallet would be a great travel piece just because you have the options to put the cards that you need. You also have a zipper compartment to carry your change. When you're traveling abroad, you do get a lot of change. So this is a good compartment to have. And then you also have the back pocket, as I mentioned, for that quick, easy access for maybe your ID or your credit card of choice. The YSL Cassandra wallet, I feel like it's more of an everyday sort of wallet. I love the color selection that this wallet comes in. I feel like YSL does neutrals really, really well. And they have actually added this piece in their beautiful fuchsia color, which I'm so tempted to get, but I definitely don't need two of the same wallets. So in my opinion, I think that this is a great everyday wallet just because you'll be able to fit everything that you normally carry in a potential continental wallet in here very comfortably. Once again, you have that back pocket for easy access and then you have four independent card slots in the center, which you can definitely double up your cards in. However, I personally choose choose to just use one credit card in each slot and then just have the big wide open compartment to put everything else in. You can also choose to put cash in there. You would at least have to fold it once. And if you don't mind having coins just scattered around the bottom of your wallet, you can definitely do so with this particular piece. Now let's point out some of the negatives that I do have in regards to these wallets. Let's start off with the YSL Cassandra and that would be just the size. I do feel like the size of this wallet doesn't necessarily make it compact as I said you can very easily transition from a continental wallet into this wallet it'll fit all of the things that you need you do have a great back pocket in the back which will hold a good amount of credit cards so for that reason I wouldn't necessarily categorize this as a compact wallet you have to be picky about which handbag you are going to use when you're going to incorporate this wallet while on the other hand i do feel like the rosalie is a very compact wallet which you can easily incorporate in a lot of your small or mini handbags this one in particular unfortunately is not as slim as the original rosalie in the canvas i do mention that in that video as well so i'll make sure to link that video down below if you do want to go a little bit more in depth as to my whole thoughts in regards to this wallet but it's still a very compact wallet especially compared to the ysl cassandra so so this one here you can also transition a lot of the things that you carry on a continental wallet over to this wallet just keep in mind that due to the fact that you do have that back pocket if you just choose to fit everything in the interior side of the wallet you might as well just opt out to probably not place anything in the back pocket or just a very very slim card most likely probably just your ID for quick access there. I honestly can choose one to recommend more over the other because I do feel like they are different enough that you can own both. As I said, this one is a little bit larger, so I feel like it would be one of those everyday wallets that you have no problem moving from one handbag to the other. And the Rosalie coin purse is still one of my ultimate favorite layouts of wallets out in the market. I do feel like it holds a good amount of things it's still fairly compact and I'm speaking for the reverse monogram. The regular monogram when I did have it, I know that it's a lot slimmer than this one and even when you did pack it, it didn't get as bulky as this one does. 
but even with that being said when this one is fully packed and it does become a little bit bulkier it's still more compact than the YSL Cassandra and she still fits a lot better in those mini bags than this Cassandra wallet would. So that does it for this little comparison video of these two compact wallets and my thoughts in regards to them. I also have a comparison video from the Rosalie in the regular canvas and the YSL Fragments card holder. So I'll make sure to link that down below for you to check out if you're interested in seeing that comparison. Overall, let me know what your thoughts are if you own any of these two pieces. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Did I miss on something? If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them to the best that I can. As always, I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to watch today. I will leave two other videos linked here for you to check out next and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye everyone.